we visited Darjeeling in February 2020, just before the COVID pandemic started globally. Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, or simply Darjeeling's toy train, is one of the major attractions in Darjeeling. We couldn't resist of making a short video on this UNESCO World Heritage before making another video on our main Darjeeling tour. Built between 1879 and 1881, Darjeeling Himalayan Railway runs between New Jalpaiguri and Darjeeling in the Indian state of West Bengal, traveling total distance of 88 km and climbing around 2100 meter from start to the end. Darjeeling Himalayan Railway was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1999. Although there had been a small bazaar in Darjeeling long before the British acquired the area, it became a focal point for trade after the opening of the railway. The steam engine driven train journey, vintage British built B class steam locomotives running through the hilly streets of Darjeeling, residential areas, and the marketplace of Darjeeling always makes you feel special, takes you back in time to the 18th century. We took the world famous toy train from Darjeeling to Ghum, Indian highest train station. A 7 km journey on the toy train with a short stop at the Batashia Loop. This was a daily tourist version of the actual train journey. The journey was most enjoyable. Nearly over 140 years of history, the railway was only closed twice. First time for 18 months during the Gorkhaland hostility in 1988 and 89, and the second time when the Covid pandemic started in India. In 1934, a major earthquake in northern India damaged the railway heavily, but it was soon recovered and played a vital role transporting personnel and materials to Ghum and Darjeeling during the Second World War. We kept the video of our upward journey towards Ghum mostly unedited to give you a real feel. Listen to the sound of trains' whistles blowing frequently to alert the passing by cars and pedestrians. Listen to the sound of the B-class steam locomotives with heavy steam flying past the coaches. Steam was mixing with the passing by low-level clouds. It was mesmerizing. We had one stop at the famous Batashia Loop, one of the five loops that were built for this special train to climb the desired altitude without putting too much pressure on the legendary steam engines. Look at the engine, it's vintage, nearly 100 years old but kept running with the help of hard work and maintenance by the Indian railway engineers. The Batashia Loop was constructed in 1919 creating easier gradients on the ascent from Darjeeling. There is a memorial to the Gorkha soldiers of Indian Army who sacrificed their lives after the Indian independence in 1947. In 
It was a cold wintry day with patches of sun. Low level clouds were covering the hills of Darjeeling very soon. There were lots of shops selling local clothing. We tried to touch the passing clouds. Shortly another steam train passed through the loop. Soon after, we continued our memorable toy train journey to the Indian highest train station at Ghum. Maintenance workers and engineers started to load coal into the locomotive for the return journey. They also did a reversal of the locomotive to change the direction of the toy train. There were a lot of smoke and steam coming out of the locomotive, making a scene of an old movie from a bygone era. After some time, we started our journey back to Darjeeling. So friends, this was our experience of the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway. Hope you liked this unique toy train, survived the test of time over the last 140 years. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel for our next video on Darjeeling. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Goodbye until the next video.